Okay, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple design in SketchUp, export it as an STL, and then take it into QuickCam so that you could take this project and mill it out on a CNC mill. First thing in SketchUp, I'm using 2015, but most versions look exactly the same um, in terms of how this process is going to work. Please make sure you get a file, and if you do not see something that says export STL then you need to install the plugin. Now the plugin can actually be found on the internet by going to extensions.sketchup.com and you should see an extension called SketchUp STL. Now you have to be logged in to some type of Google account and then download the file, the STL, as you can see I did here and then make sure you know where that is located so that you know where it's where it is so that you can install it in SketchUp. So I've done that whole process here. Let me just close this. Let me go ahead and minimize this. So here's how you install the plugin. If you go to Window, you should be able to scroll down to Preferences. You should see a tab called Extensions. You want to select Install Extension go to where that was downloaded and I'm going to go ahead and select open when you see this message come up say yes install the extension you should get a second message that says it has been successfully installed so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK OK again and now under file you should be able to see export STL so let me go ahead and draw something simple here. I'm going to hit E for erase and get rid of this gentleman. I'm going to hit R for rectangle and because I'm using a template that's set up in feet I have to be very specific if I want something in inches. So I'm going to click once at the origin just move my mouse away. You'll notice down here there's a whole bunch of numbers. Those are actually in feet and inches so that this is the right size. I'm going to hit 4 then I'm going to put the inch symbol in comma 3 plus the inch symbol and enter. It's very small so I'm going to hit Control shift e on my keyboard. I'm zooming in and once again this is a 4 inch by 3 inch shape. I'm going to hit P for push pull. I'm going to hover over that face, click once. I'm going to move up. I'm going to type in 1 for 1 inch. 1 and then shift inch symbol. I'm going to hit enter. Okay, Now to make things a little bit more interesting I'll hit C for circle. Let me hover. There's a midpoint. Let me hover my mouse over here. If I move to center, it should find center. Click once. I'm going to move out. I'll make a half inch circle. I'm going to hit P for push pull again. I'm going to hover over that face. Click once. I'm going to come up. I'll come up half an inch. And then I'll put something that goes into the object here. I'll hit F for offset. If I just hover around this edge, click on any edge, I can move in. I'll come in a fourth of an inch. I'll hit P for push pull and I'll push that in about a half an inch. Okay, so there's my shape, something simple. Now, what I'm going to do is save my work. Once I've saved it, I'm going to go ahead and export this. So we'll just call this block. And I'm just going to say save. Now remember, this is a SketchUp file, so I'm just going to hit block and hit save. Now, to make sure it's exported properly, usually what I do is I just make sure I'll hit my space bar here so you can see I have a pointer. I just click anywhere off the project. So I don't want anything selected. I want to click off of it, nothing selected. I'm going to go to File, Export STL. Now, you'll notice I can check this box, Export Selected Geometry Only. I'm not going to select that. i got to make sure that I know what unit of measurement I'm using. It's either going to be inches, millimeters, centimeters, meters, I'm going to say inches. I'll leave the file format as ASCII, just leave it as it is. I'm going to hit export. Now you'll notice that typically it's the same file name .stl. If you do not see this .stl, instead it looks something more like that. Please make sure you hit .stl. If not, it will not save properly. Now once again, just find a location to save it. Hit save. I'm going to 
to say yes. I've actually done this before just to run through it to make sure I knew how to walk you through this properly. And I'm done. So there's my uh, SketchUp file that's actually been saved as an STL. Um, one thing that we're going to do in our next video is we're going to take this object and we're actually going to go ahead and run it through a free piece of software on the web and then we'll take that into QuickCam. So once again, go ahead and save your work and I'm going to go ahead in the next video show you how to complete the following step.